hey, I don't think I ever showed you. So I was talking about somebody... There was kind of talk about, oh, somebody who could control time. Who could that be? Um, when you close the game, wouldn't record your progress. Oh, it doesn't show it this time. Uh, well, I don't, I don't think you saw it on video. But there was a little... Why doesn't this remember where it was? Um, it kind of suggests that, hey, when you close the game... Everything like goes black for like one second and then Parky, please and then uh, And then everything is back so like you're kind of separate that up. You still there? I'm here. It happened again. Everything just went really dark. So dark the light bulb didn't even light it. Oh That's interesting But yeah, it, it kind of suggests your power over the game is a little bit or the world, rather, is a bit more than just, you know, telling uh, Nico what to do. Yeah, let's continue on here. Um, so we've been to this branch. I think there's still stuff in the alleyway we haven't uh, been to. Are you still the same? Yeah, but we know. Wait, did we go in here? <gasps> Water! It's a big fish tank! Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish? Yeah, I'm worried about them. Parky, please! Parky, just sit. Actually... Let me lock my keyboard. How do I... Control, Alt, L. There we go. Now Parker is no risk. Except for obstructing the screen, which you're kind of doing. Yes. I heard something about the square particle stuff. Just took out a major pipeline. I guess just take advantage of the running water while I still can. Speaking of running water, can I borrow just a teeny bit? It's a big fish tank. I just need a bit of water. Alright, I can fill this tube with more water here. <gasps> okay. Ah, uh, tube of water. So put the pill in the water? It dissolved really fast. Medicated water. Okay, so I'm glad I stopped in here. Your head is a fish tank. That is... That is screwed up. Imagine if your head was, like, based on whatever your, like, job is. That's, like, a mixture of My Little Pony and, like, body horror. My Little Horror, My Little Horror. Alright. Back up we ride. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get to hear about the one guy. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. He's so cute! Um, them's the brakes. I'm, I'm just gonna be paranoid. You should keep going now, tap, tap. Okay, yeah, just one, one nap per bed. I don't know if this game has missable stuff, but it's like, the whole, the one-shot thing just gives me teeny bits of anxiety. It's like, it's not been what I expected really at all, but it's been very, very, very good. Um... That's kind of that symbol again, isn't it? Here's the medicated water. Good thinking, Tap Tap. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf! Good luck, little plant. Show it the sun. Maybe that's all we can do. Good luck, Maze. All right, back down to it, I guess. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't even care. <sighs> Whatever. It sprouted. I guess that's about all we can do. So we grow again once once we get the sun back. just seem a bit choppy in some spots. I don't know what that is. It doesn't really affect gameplay, but it bothers me. The thing about video games, they're kind of always, you know, taped together with glue, so to speak, which is 
not doesn't mean anything, but it's very fragile is what I meant to say. It's a faded flyer. I guess we can't read it. It's a ram! Curious marking on the wall. Looks like a ram. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised that one guy that had a ram did... It's Lord Conti! It's strangely warm in this room. It's it's steampunk, Lord Conti. Look at the kitties! Aww. Oh, hi. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hello. They all like the... Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes! Well, normal back home. Your head is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person! You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks! But I'm not lost though. I got Tap Tap to guide me. Aww. I see. <laughs> it's warm here. Yeah, this is my original purpose. Watching cats. Warmth. Oh. It's a nice purpose. Uh, oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Tap Tap and I have stuff to do. I see. Do I have anything that needs exposure to heat? Not really. Good to know, though. Gross. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna check horizontally before we check vertically. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I remember that part. He said something about return. I guess it means later in the game. Back. Oh! Oh, Mr. Lightman! Oh, that's who he is! Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now. Anyway, day where can I get one? From the library? I tried that already! The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, are you checking out the factory? You just need to take the stairs to the end of the street and take a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? <laughs> Logical. They might help you. Wasn't I in there? I don't really think there was... and we'll do that later. <laughs> this is gonna help so many people and also make me rich and famous and cool. Both equally valid. Oh wait, did I go down instead of up? Or oh, oh, I went up instead of down. Okay, let's go this way. And now there will be science! Sounds kind of sciencey. This is the music I would listen to during, while doing science. Droning music is the best music for science. Hello. Why do I keep saying hi to the robots? It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. It may help you to go one color at a time, management. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. It can help to write down previous attempts. Management. While this fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe we'll get an easier one next time. Yeah, that, that, that's how robots are made. Puzzles, obviously. I mean, it's just like using block puzzles, you know, protect your sacred treasures. It's just what, it's just what's done. It's just the reasonable thing to do. Don't question it. Don't question it, but it's reasonable. Oh, these are all connected, okay. What's this? In order to gain access to labs, you must pass the security system test, uh huh? Change the color of the lights in specific configuration. Allow me. Huh? How do I solve this? That is part of the test. What do you mean? Two lights, correct. Access denied. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, 
that one was yellow. That's correct. What? Parky, please! Uh, Parky? Okay, so two lights are orange. And they're on this side. Okay, one of these is purple. That's correct. It's probably this one. Five lights correct! Oh yes! Okay, hold on. I need to talk to that scientist. Do you have a library card? Luminescence, uh, the luminescence index of the liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.5% this last week. Alarming to say the least. It's the sharpest decline I've ever seen and the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe. There's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. Huh. I, I just love that the security test is figuring out the basic, like, logic puzzle. Oh, uh oh. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... Aw, oh, rip. Please do not approach. It seems like those things are kind of attracted to robots, maybe. I've seen a couple get caught like that. Why is your head... Oh, I don't even care anymore. A robot. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing... Rob our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? Finally! Someone said something! Well, what does that have to do anything? Never mind. Your head being a TV is a normal thing. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. This one is inactive. Boop. So robots are malfunctioning in a lot printing rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is also almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. <laughs> I cannot stop spinning. Same. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. That's Dr. Silver when I get that all that energy. Oh, it's Dr. Silver Points! Okay. Can head. Normal. Warm pot of coffee. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. <laughs> Enjoy your rest. Mr. the soda man. wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references work. Dr. Silverpoint has the credit card, library card, whatever kind of card that we need. Alright, back out here. Just want to be thorough. Um, yeah, let's just talk to everybody in here then. It's those machines from Pokemon uh, trading card game for Game Boy. The deck sorting things. Sure, a lot of computers in here. They look important too. Ugh, the square particles just got too much of my robots in the Glen. Might have to put the water, put off the water analysis project for now. Monitoring, monitoring. Well, be sure to pick the room to monitor in. Plenty of monitors. I'm picking up some disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. It's consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. I want to press all the buttons. Same. I must resist. Press the buttons. 
The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Did I talk to you? Mr. Silverpoint. Hello? Oh, shoot! You look familiar. If I'd known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. TapTap helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? I'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't see her without a library card. At the same time, she's the one who gives out the library cards. Really? That sounds like George, all right. Wink. So you got caught, out, caught her on a bad day. Oh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. Wink. It won't be hard for me to get another one. There you go. You're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. My photo on my card won't match yours. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. That sounds perfect. Um, that was a joke. Oh. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. It's a bookshelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. You never know when you need glitter things up, right? I like Dr. Silverpoint. Oh yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Ha, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world's still a beautiful place. What would the world like look like with the sun? Oh, uh, you know... It's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh, ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay in here and build the robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was a dangerous place for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does the research firsthand. Oh. Even after segments of land started collapsing and... Access to more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. The author. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us so he could provide us with all sorts of insights from time to time. For some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or specifically coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, even... <gasps> he's your wife! Or... Uh, he's... <laughs> he's the... He's the other robot's husband. It's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah? Frick. He's in that frickin' mine, way in the back at the start of the game. Well, I'm not sure we'll ever find them. Hey, Tap Tap, doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to that robot lady who gave me the amber. I was going to ask her about. Should I? Oh, that's a good idea, actually. But that will wait for next time. If I could remember how to end the video properly.